USC and UCLA will enter the Big Ten as full members in 2024. Now, the story, of course, is over at the Athletic Big Ten Media Days. Kevin Warren had a lot to say about everything. And in this situation, he said uh, USC and UCLA will come in as full members. And, of course, my login situation here, of course. Da, 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 da. Let's see if I can finish it up. Boom. All right. So, uh, he says that they will come in as full members. There. Uh, the Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren said Tuesday, we think that's important for various reasons. They bring a lot of value to our relationship. They bring a lot of panage to our relationship. And we look forward to welcoming, uh, welcoming them into the Big Ten family here in 2024. Now, what's interesting You'll see if you're looking at the screen, it says this is a departure from the league's previous position of requiring a waiting period for new schools. Nebraska had to wait multiple years before they were considered a full member and were able to get the full value of their media rights. Maryland and Rutgers both did the same exact thing. Now it says pre-expansion estimates had the Big Ten receiving more than $1 billion annually from a new media rights agreement that goes into effect in 2023. The number likely soars with USC and UCLA, which share the number two market, Los Angeles. Warren would not reveal a revenue target either for the league or its members. We're still working through that. I don't want to guess what that would be. I know we'll reach that decision here pretty quickly. Uh, he did say at some point in all of his uh, talking that uh, they are hoping to announce something very, very soon as far as who their new media partners will be. And it could be as many as three from all the sources that I've heard from. So uh, you could have, you know, uh, Fox handling the majority of things because they own like a, what, 61% stake in the Big Ten right now, uh, the Big Ten Network, et cetera. But along with that, you could have CBS getting the afternoon game. You could have NBC getting the evening game or whatever it may be, right? There are multiple. Apple really wants in on this. There's a lot of people that could get involved with it. But the fact that USC and UCLA are going to come in as full members lets me know one thing and one thing only. It was not USC and UCLA that reached out to the Big Ten looking for membership. This was the Big Ten, and obviously everybody has talked about this and whatnot, that the Big Ten wanted to expand, etc., that Fox told the Big Ten to reach out to whoever. What this is, is it was a coordinated effort to move USC and UCLA over to the Big Ten. This was not USC and UCLA initially not being happy with their situation in the Pac-12. Yes, I understand that the revenue sharing was completely different. I get that. But uh, the fact that we've come out and seen this, where they were willing to go against all of the previous expansion rules that they had in place before and just immediately include them as full members, that's some shady stuff. That's some interesting stuff, which could give the Pac-12 a reason to sue the Big Ten. Because you remember there was all the discussion about the Big 12 suing the SEC or suing ESPN, etc. In this situation, you could act... Because remember, with the Big, uh, the Big 12 moves, right? Oklahoma and Texas moving over to the SEC, you had a history of the Big 12 being irritated, especially Oklahoma, being irritated about early kickoffs. Texas has been irritated about it as well. Uh, just the time slots the way that the negotiations had gone in the past, the fact that they couldn't get any kind of a uh, stable, what's the word I'm looking for? They could not get any answers on what their next media rights deal might look like from ESPN, from anybody. Nobody would commit to the Big 12 as far as their media rights. They, they basically, ESPN told them, now nah, we don't really want to negotiate right now. And in that situation, Oklahoma and Texas saw the writing on the wall. In this situation, the Pac-12 stuff had not even begun yet. I mean, you hear George Klyovkov, as soon as USC and UCLA move, the rest of them ask Klyovkov to start negotiations now. That means they had not started. They had not begun, which is nuts. But here we are, because, of course, Klyovkov had no idea this was going on. Uh, this was a Fox deal. This was the Big Ten that was reaching out to them. I mean, it's it's all shady. It's it's all shady, and, and it lets you know, again, USC and UCLA basically were told, hey, if you guys want to come over here, we can pay you, uh, you know, triple what you're making over there. Like, it, it was that easy. So, and yes, do I blame USC and UCLA for leaving? Absolutely not. 
do I blame the Big Ten for needing to come up with some kind of a, a response to the SEC realignment, to the SEC expansion? Uh, no, because I understand that they needed to be able to keep up, and their negotiating rights are up right now. Like they, Their media rights deal is ready to go, and they knew that they needed more than what they had. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.